a life I lead in this city. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. All 1,107 of you. Today we're talking about Guinness and I'm walking along the Corrib River. Very exciting day. Now, as we all know, Guinness is, and I don't think anyone will dispute that, the most famous, famous Irish drink. Whiskey coming to close second, I believe, but we're talking about, about Guinness today. Now, what I did not know is, well, I, I knew it was drink all around the world, but I didn't know that they pour 10 million glasses of Guinness daily. That's amazing. Plus, they even have three breweries in Africa. I believe Nigeria is the, the country that drinks second most Guinness in the world. Who knew? Africa. Moving on. Guinness wasn't always called Guinness. Did you know that? It was first called Porter and then they changed it to Stout Porter. And the reason was that the, it was very, very popular among, guess who? Train porters. So yeah, that's the reason. I don't know why they changed it to Guinness later, probably because of its founder, Arthur Guinness, but yeah. It was called Porter. Next fact is the, the one Irish people won't really like. They probably didn't know it, but yeah. Uh, Guinness isn't based in Dublin, it's in London. <laughs> Since they merged with some uh, big company, I believe, a few years ago, they moved their headquarters to London and yeah, they have that big famous storehouse in, uh, in Dublin, but they're based in London. The next one, Guinness isn't black. Put your glass up to the light and you'll see it's actually dark red, not black, even though it's cold. I believe you can order a Guinness calling for black something. There's an expression which I forgot, of course, but yeah. Not black, dark red. The Guinness Book of World Records does come from uh, Guinness, the beer. Now, in the 1950s, I believe, the manage, managing director at that time, he was drinking in a pub with some friends, I, I'm guessing, and they couldn't agree about what's the fastest bird, I believe, in Europe, something like that. And when they couldn't find the, the, the fact in any of the books they checked, he decided to, to make his own book with things like that. And yeah, I believe the first edition of the Guinness World Records uh, was published in 1955, I believe. So just a few, few years after that. There you go. Now, before I continue, everyone go and click on my Instagram. I would like to know what you think about that. And now, now, how many times have I said and now in this video? That will be fun to watch. Uh, Guinness is vegan, if you didn't know. In 2017, they published that they changed something in their, their filtration process and that they're vegan now. So, vegans, there you go. And the fact that's more amazing to me, someone actually did a study around 20 years ago and they, they concluded that over 160,000 pints of Guinness is lost every year due to facial hair or beard. That's how much it gets stuck every year. Think about that for a bit. The original Guinness storehouse, I believe, is leased for 9,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Arthur Guinness leased it for when he was first getting it. So yeah, it will the lease will run out in year 10,000 and something. And while I'm on the subject of Arthur Guinness, he was actually involved in uh, in, he, in Guinness factory obviously and Guinness all the way up until his death. He had 21 children. I know three of his sons worked in a uh, for Guinness, I don't know about, about the rest, but yeah, he he was managing everything up until he died in 1803. And to finish this off with a little known fact, every pint of Guinness apparently has over 300 million bubbles in it. Can you imagine that? Not sure about that one, but could be true, I guess. If you're wondering where I am, I took a walk to Glenlaw Abbey Hotel took me an hour and a half to come here, so I'm not doing that again. But yeah, all of that, all of the things you see from a drone and all of those green fields, it's actually a golf course they have here, it's Glen Abbey, so you can check that out if you wanna have a walk or something. And that would be it for today. 
If you like the video, press the like button. If you didn't, press the, dis press the dislike one. Definitely press the, the subscribe button. Check my Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Tell me I'm beyond it